Hey, this is Mike Barker here for Seasons RV in Medicine Hat, Alberta. Uh, in front of me is the 2023 Grand Design Transcend 221RB. Uh, I'm going to go through this trailer here inside now and show you some of the great, great features this has to offer. Um, so at the front here, you do get your uh, full power tongue jack, um, which is really nice. Makes it easy. You don't have to crank the front hitch up anymore. For some reason, this does stop working under this cap here you do have a manual uh, crank to be able to lift that up there so that uh, you know you're not stuck where you're uh, camping uh, under the cover you'll have two 20 pound propane tanks uh, battery located there you have a, a textured um, harder cover here for any kind of rock rock chips that may happen or uh, you know pulling it down the road uh, and a nice nice covered uh, you know front cap on this too as well uh, coming down the side, I'm just going to give you a good view of it. Really nice deco layout. Uh, I really enjoy the uh, the look of this here. It is an aluminum exterior, um, so but uh, with Grand Design, it is kind of a harder um, aluminum, way more solid than your standard aluminum exterior. Um, you do have your manual uh, stabilizers. Now these ones here, if you notice, it is angled. Uh, one of the reasons for that is not only does it help stabilize um, any kind of movement front to back on the trailer, but it also does uh, side to side too as well. So when you do have this thing all set up, it's going to be very solid on the ground. Um, in this cubby hole here, you do have a, kind of a docking station, your solar monitoring just right here. So you can see it's putting out almost 14 volts of power directly from the solar panel. Uh, battery disconnect right there city water fill with your fresh water tank fill um, and then uh, our city water connection that's where you hook up directly right here and then of course you do have a GFI plug with your solar uh, char um, charge controller there it is a 30 amp charge controller really really big storage that's one thing I do like about Grand Design one of the few manufacturers that actually give you large hatches now these are on magnet latch there is no plastic clips so Super simple to be able to have that set up. Your uh, sewer and drain lines for your water lines for winterizing are all directly in one spot right here. Nice big slide all the way through. Really nice insulation on this. We're going to come around to the back here. So it is 30 amp power. Your bathroom sewer connection, gray tank uh, connection is all just located right there sewer hose storage in the back bumper and it does have a black tank flush uh, so the black tank flush there has sprayers in the tanks when you hook up your water hose to it it's going to flush out that black tank really nice instead of just trying to flood it out with a hose spare tire is mounted at the back you have a ladder as well with a full walkable roof uh, at the very top here you do have a backup camera prep one of the nice things with that is if you are pulling it somewhere it does work as a review mirror so it just makes it easy for travel. So we're on the camping side of the trailer here. A full power awning all the way across the top. You have two outside speakers there too as well. Your water tank fill is just right here. And then the other side of the pass-through storage. Loads and loads of space. There are motion lights in here too as well. So they turn on as soon as you open up the hatch. There you go. So we're going to go inside and uh, check out all the good stuff in there. So friction hinge door too. So it's not going to slam on you if you do get a little bit of wind. They say it's rated for 30 km an hour wind. I would say it's fairly accurate considering the wind that we do get around here. Um, but uh, we're just going to check this out. I'm going to do a quick pan through and then I'm going to start talking about everything else that we've got in here. All right, so we're gonna start at the control panel. You have a Bluetooth radio here, HDMI port for a DVD player, USB port if you got a memory stick, all that good stuff too as well. Um, looks like for the Bluetooth, you can answer phone calls, hang up too as well. All your controls, so your slide and your power awning is here. 
and then your ceiling lights, exterior lights, water pump, and all that stuff too, uh, and hot water heater. So you have the option of a gas and electric hot water. So if you do have power hookups, really makes it simple for the hot water tank there. Uh, you do have plugs all over the place. You have a nice light just above here. Huge counter space in this, which is really good, especially for longer term living. Really gives you a lot of extra room. Window right there with the privacy shade to the uh, uh, camping side, so you can still get to uh, see outside. Uh, nice big windows behind me, which I will get to. Solid wood cabinetry. Full extension drawers. Plenty of cabinet space underneath. A big drawer down below. This is going to allow for... Uh, you know it's a great spot for pots and pans really i know sometimes that is tough to find a spot in some of these trailers for that uh, one cool thing i like about the stove if you happen to leave a burner on it's going to turn red just to let you know that you have left something on it's not just if you smell the propane it's a visual too as well which is really really handy i do like that it is a uh, three burner stove This does flip up for a backsplash too. That is why that is like that. Another plug there, great spot for a coffee maker. I'm just gonna kind of pan over this. Not sure how well you'll be able to see it. This is gonna give you a half decent breakdown. So right here is your insulation. There we go, 165 watt solar panel on this one. Um, over to the sink here, nice big stainless steel farm sink. Again, more storage with access to your furnace right there. As you can see, there's your um, heat duct. There are none in the floors. Uh, again, this is all a one, I guess not again, but uh, it is a one piece floor all the way through front to back underneath the linoleum. There are no seams. Uh, with the faucet here, it is a residential style. So that's going to uh, easily, um, you know, give you lots more function, more like a household to uh, be able to wash your dishes. Uh, again, another sink there. Lots of upper cabinet space. You do have a smart TV. It is a Roku TV. It does pull out and twist too as well. Um, so if you're in a campsite with Wi-Fi or, you know, you want a hotspot to your TV, you can still watch your Netflix, all that stuff in there. Nice deep cabinets. Storage up top, great spot for spices, anything like that. Cups and plates, they're really nice and deep. So these are gonna be able to hold nice uh, big dinner plates too as well. So over to the fridge, down below, if you've got pets, you can put your um, uh, food dishes, water dishes in here. Uh, any extra supplies for the dog can just sit right down below. It is a 12 volt fridge, so this is huge. This is uh, really, really deep compared to your standard uh, two-way RV fridge. Uh, this is going to run off the solar panel. Uh, talking to my Grand Design rep, just about indefinitely, you will get full power to all of this here, providing you know you do get ample sunlight. If it is a little cloud covered, uh, not a big deal, so long as the fridge isn't a revolving door. Um, you're still going to be able to run everything in the trailer too as well. Um, three recliners here with your cup holders on top. Flip down cup holder in the middle. I think we have, oh no, that's not storage. So, um, but uh, gives you a little bit more room, a little bit more of an armrest, stuff like that. Again, these do recline. They do uh, lay right back too as well. You do have a plug just located right there. Nice big uh, sliding door for the bathroom big bathroom in here you got a porcelain foot flush toilet loads of counter space in the bathroom here nice big plug big medicine cabinet plenty of storage for any toiletries or anything else like that and a nice big walk-in shower so if you are taller as well you do have a skylight in there so it gives you a little more headroom and then again Lots more storage down the side for towels or anything like that. And one thing I do like is you do get some shelving here too as well. 
Um, sometimes you do find that uh, the showers are just rectangular and you really got no place to put that stuff. So really, really nice. One thing I want to show you with the shower curtain here, pulls across and, and uh, hides back in. The one nice thing is there's a uh, wiper inside these. So what that allows the shower curtain to do is it's going to wipe off any excess moisture that may be on it before it goes in. Reduces the chances of mildew and, and stuff like that from the water. But uh, let's head up to the bedroom here. So again, you got another slide, big sliding door, nice large entry to come in here. Queen size RV bed, USB ports just right here with a plug in as well. Digital thermostat with your light, light switch there. Opening windows for a good cross breeze as well as a vent just above. All your AC ducts are just up in the ceiling here. And you also get really nice storage underneath. Now, being that, I'm sure you noticed there is no table per mounted. You do get your table here. So I really like this setup because if you want to take it outside and set it up, you still can. Right. But, uh, you know, keeping it inside, you got your table for those rainy days. You want to stay in, watch TV, all that good stuff. Got uh, some drawers here just on this side. Again, full extension drawers. Great spot to hang your clothes. Reading light uh, just above there. Of course, you've got your heat vent down below. Really nice flooring in this here. So uh, overall, this is the Grand Design Transcend, the 221RB 2023 model. Uh, hopefully, I've gone through all of this uh, quite thoroughly with you here. Um, if you do have any questions though, please give us a call and thanks for watching.